Hey guys, what's up? Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, what's up, bros? Hey, everybody, we're back from a break, and... I'm putting it on the internet! Not only are we putting it on the internet, but... Dude, I'm burning you down! We'll be right back. Okay, what the hell is this? Oh, Person of the Day. This segment is called Person of the Day, also known as... Dude, I'm burning you down! <laughs> Today's Person of the Day is actually People of the Day, and it's the children of Ireland. Day you, boys and girls, Connors Toshiv. I hope you're keeping well. What? I've got a question for you this morning. Okay. Have you ever wanted to be famous? Okay, this is RTE, which is Irish Public Broadcasting. You know, and they do very nice shows for kids. Except, I don't know about this one. Guinness World Records most ice cream scoops on a cone. We might not need that one here. But uh, if you look at their YouTube channel, it's like, you know, a couple hundred views, maybe a couple thousand views. But then one of their videos in just three weeks has 1.3 million views, which is a song by an Irish child rap group called, what are they called? Rhyme Island. Alright, this comment here kind of sums up how people feel about this. What does this guy say? Why is this actually good? Yeah, the internet seems to be in agreement that uh, these little Irish kids put out a real banger. So go listen to, what is this thing called? Rhyme Island, The Spark. These Irish kids, they make me sick. <laughs> they make me sick. Day four of the Hunter Biden felony gun Hold on, I gotta put my contacts in. Is that Brie? That's Bobby. Is that Bobby or Brie? I don't know if that's Bobby or Brie, but both of them... They make me sick. ...is underway in a Wilmington, Delaware courthouse today. Wait, is that one of the Irish rap kids? Ah, oh, I'm confused. The prosecution is expected okay, to... Okay, now that's Bobby and or Brie. Hold on, let me look. That's Bobby. That's Brie. Bobby and Bree, they'll never leave Bobby and Bree together for eternity <laughs> Never gonna change together forever <laughs> What the hell? Okay, anyway if you, uh, Okay, so anyway, if you don't know what I'm talking about This is a, a very popular YouTube channel called The Hill And this is probably their most popular show, The Hill Rising Also known as The Hill Sniffing And, uh, and it looks like there's a couple different hosts of this show But the main hosts are Bobby and Bree. And oh boy, these two can't agree on anything. One of them goes like this. <laughs> and the other one goes, Got your ass! Woo! But on every episode before they end the show, they both say, God bless you. To each other. The management of The Hill looked at Brianna Joy Gray and they said, Dude, I'm burning you down. So, you know, it's a pretty big media outlet and the f the, they fired Brianna Joy Gray. And I wanted to kind of look at the reasoning and some of the reactions to the firing of this lady, Brianna Joy. Okay. Political commentator Brianna Joy Gray, Never heard of who her. is also a Bernie Sanders former press secretary, Never heard of him. has been fired from the Hill Network okay. this just days after okay. rolling her eyes while interviewing the sister of an Israeli woman taken hostage by Hamas terrorists on October 7th. Okay. Not showing any regret of her poor manners and attitude, Whoa, Gray okay. wrote on social hey, platform easy, X, Pat. it's finally happened, the hill has fired me. There should be no doubt that the rising hill has a clear pattern of suppressing speech, particularly when it's critical of the state of Israel. Let's have a look at the embarrassing interview. Hey. Thank you, me too, and I really hope that you specifically will believe women when they say that they got hurt. All right, thanks for joining. Stick around, more rising coming up next. Okay, so I don't think The Hill has said yet, but this is, but uh, I guess people are assuming this is the clip that got Brianna Joy Gray fired. Let's see what people are saying in the comments. This interview is painful. I don't know who thought this was a good idea, but arguing with a hostage, hostage victim's sister over policy is not going to end well. Thoroughly disgusting, dismissive interview of a person in pain and loss. Brianna Joy Gray should be ashamed. What an absolutely disgusting interview. Instead of giving exposure to the plight of the hostages, Brianna thought it better to uh, thought it better 
to roll her eyes and attack the sister of a victim. This guy just says, stop. What it, oh, it's Donald Trump. It's, 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 it's weird. What's he doing and commenting on Twitter? Stop censoring comments, YouTube. <laughs> okay. Whoa, damn. This one got a lot of likes. 623 likes. Whoa. Thoroughly disgusted at Brianna Joy Gray's bigoted behavior toward her guest. Okay, this is a weird comment, and it's kind of similar to the comment of uh, the former president, uh, Donald... Stop censoring comments, YouTube. <laughs> ...Trump from earlier. I saw this interview days ago, and I remember there were hundreds of comments supporting Bree's handling of the interview. The sister was very naive to appear on a political channel to discuss a political kidnapping and not expect a uh, political questioning. Looking over this comment section now, after Bree has been fired, the forum has been almost stripped bare of every comment supporting Bree. No doubt this comment won't be up for long either. Hmm, weird. Now, what's this video here? 106,000 views. This is... what is Sky News? I thought Sky News was just like a news channel that Roku created, but apparently it's some kind of a news channel. Let's check out what they have to say about this. Now, I spoke to uh, Douglas Murray about Brianna Joy Gray's uh, crazy comments about her... Never heard of either of them. Okay, go ahead. Mars. Yeah. But have a look at this clip of her rolling her eyes when a family member of a hostage held somewhere in Gaza... Okay asks her to believe October 7 rape victims. Okay. And I really hope that you specifically will believe women when they say that they got hurt. All right, I'm thanks for joining. Stick around, more rising coming up next. Well, oh, she did not like uh, being told that. I can understand perhaps, but uh, there was just a callousness there. And given the comments right. she's made, she shouldn't be surprised by that response. That was one of the most despicable things I've seen on the air, frankly. Okay. Um, but <laughs> really? Oh, this guy works for the Daily Wire. I've seen this guy in the Daily Wire before, and, and that was one of the most despicable. Oh, okay. Okay, so there we go. You know, if you look at the comments on the video that supposedly got this lady fired they're all like this you know they're all kind of like that and i guess the people who have the power to fire people over at the hill i guess they kind of are of similar mind to this but let's wait hold on hold on a second the actual video that got her fired has eighty-one thousand views this one commenting on it that plays a couple seconds of it one hundred six thousand views okay that's weird so it kind of seems like not a lot of people are actually watching the interview, including maybe the people who uh, fired Brianna Joy Gray here. But I didn't notice this until just now. This is during the same clip. Uh, watch, watch Bobby. And I really hope that you specifically will believe women when they say that they got hurt. All right, then, thanks for joining. Okay, but I guess since nobody else watched this interview, yeah, let's we'll take a look. See what else is in here. The Times just reported this morning uh, that Biden said, quote, there is every reason for people to draw the conclusion that Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is prolonging the war for his own political uh, self-preservation. Now, this seems to be Joe Biden saying again that the what is obstructing the ceasefire process that could allow your sister to come home and get the food and get the medicine and get the care that she needs and to live in safety is being obstructed by Benjamin Benjamin Netanyahu, do you feel like he's putting his own personal political goals ahead of prioritizing hostage release? I really see that you want to talk political things, and this is not my profession. I mean, this really doesn't seem that hard to understand. If you watch this 20, if you watch this 20 minute video, and let's face it, you're watching it on 2x. So it's actually a 10 minute video. But yeah, this is just not that hard to understand. You know, you have a lady here. But what's her name? Brianna Joy Gray. You know, she's being sympathetic. She's like, yeah, of course you want to get your sister back. It's, you know, and here's what I think is standing in the way. The little bit that you saw there at the end. And frankly, that eye roll and exasperation is more about the, I'm sorry, stupidity of hey. my producer making the choice to. Hey, take it back. Hey, take it back or you get one of these. <laughs> The little bit that you saw there at the end. And frankly, that eye roll and exasperation is more about the. I'm sorry, stupidity of my producer making the choice to have this guest on who very predictably was going to make it into a personal attack about me. So that's Brianna Joy Gray on, what's the guy's name? Glenn Greenwald. Oh, that's this guy. They make me sick. 
Who makes you sick? They make me sick. Okay, I guess that's sort of an answer. You know, Brown and Joy Gray and the Bobby do a political show. Brown and Joy Gray was asking the obvious political questions she was going to ask. You know, seems like she sympathizes with that lady. Nobody wants to have her their sister held hostage. But, you know, the lady did make it personal at the end, and what are you going to do? Brown and Joy Gray got upset about it. So there we go. I guess no more Bobby Bree Bree Bobby Bobbo. What's this? What's this here? This is today. Oh, the epoch. What the hell is it? How do you say that? The epic. The epic. I think they pronounce it epic. It's epoch. Epoch. Who cares? Okay, this is kind of an amazing story that broke. It broke just a couple days ago, but it involves, what the hell is it called again? The Epoch Times. I love the Epoch Times. I started getting ads for them a couple years ago. Oh my God. Oh my God. These are the best ads I've ever seen. Okay, this is a real ad for the, what, what the hell even is it? A newspaper slash website slash YouTube channel, I guess. Whatever the hell it is. Epoch, Epoch, whatever. Times is a real ad. This is a real ad that I actually got served up to me. What's wrong? I just read a report on how the FBI was abusing spying warrants. <laughs> and it made no sense to me. Really? You read the entire report? Yeah, haven't you? I don't know how they captured so perfectly what dinner is like for me. I do this every night. I have to... I have dinner at the oppo at the long opposite end of the table with my wife, you know, with like a painting of the fa <laughs> of the founding fathers in the background. And then we sit there and we both go like this. <laughs> I look at my wife and I go, "Dude, I'm burning you down." <laughs> I instead read this, a timeline that explains the entire story step by step of how in their rush to set up surveillance on a Trump campaign advisor The FBI used politicized information. His wife's into it. Consistently ignored. Okay. Sco yeah, these Epoch Times ads are some of my favorite. Some of my favorite content on the internet. You know, because you watch this and you're like, oh, this guy's a lunatic. You know, it's like, oh, they're doing a satire. This guy's uh, supposed to be a psycho. It's like, no, that guy's actually cool in this ad. Okay, this right here is the best part of this ad. Check this out. But if you haven't subscribed yet, I would highly recommend that you click that button below and try the paper yourself for a full month. Right, a single right. so he's insane, right? That's what they're implying right there. The guy's talking to nobody. He's doing this. <laughs> you know, when you do that little trick, that little filmmaking trick, you're implying the guy's lost his mind. Oh, he's, how do we subscribe? Oh, he's, who, who are you talking to? You're right. Oh no, I'm just talking to the invisible other guy in the room. <laughs> and it, it keeps going. This keeps going. And they, they spend massive amounts of money to run these ads. And look at this. Keeps going with this. Here we go. Nice. Who are you talking to? Yeah, he's insane. Your husband's lost his mind. What? Can you pass the salad, please? <laughs> Okay, what does that mean? Oh man, oh man, I used to get these ads all the time. Here's another one. And take a look at this. While the mainstream media has been hostile to traditional values, we here at the Epic Times have given tradition center stage oh, and have given a platform for the wisdom, knowledge, and virtue that have been passed down in our cultures for thousands of years. So okay, if you're looking like for an what? awesome news source... Okay, one more of these. Here he's uh, with his wife again. Here we go. Just click on that button below, try the Epic Times, get that magazine, and stay truly informed. <laughs> Thanks. Wait, why are you talking to me like we're in some YouTube ad? Okay, <laughs> what is that? Alright. I'm putting it on the internet. Dude, I'm burning you down. Oh, this is pretty great. When I was reading about this, I found out about this here. What does it say? What the hell does this say here? Robert F. Kennedy Jr., that's the guy who's run, running for president. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. calls the Epoch Times a daily read <laughs> among his most trusted news sources. Okay, so that's who looked at that ad and said, that guy's cool. That guy who's snapping and then the uh, newspaper appears, and he shows it to his wife, and his wife's like, who are you talking to? God, that guy's cool. That guy's irresistibly cool. Okay, I don't know what the hell's going on here, but apparently they make movies, too. 
the epoch times. Do you ever wake up? Oh, there we go. And realize your life has no purpose? Uh, yes. Peter Lowe, the one-time drug dealer turned pastor, along with two <laughs> others, will be executed Kevin Sorbo. at 12 midnight local time. The next day, something strange happened. Someone came up to me and gave me this flyer about Jesus. Oh man, that guy's a riveting voice actor. Oh my God. Somebody gave me a good thing about Jesus. Okay, great. Dude, I'm burning you down. So you know this company, the Epoch Times, they had it all. Weird ads, movies with Cuba Gooding Jr. And what's the other guy's name? Kevin Sorbet? Uh, but then this happened. What does it say? The far-right Epoch Times media company was at the center of a fraudulent money laundering and cryptocurrency scam involving tens of millions of dollars. Wow. The Justice Department said on Monday, as it announced the indictment of its chief financial officer, Bill Guan. I tried to look up a picture of this guy, Bill Guan. Nowhere to be found. But I did find this. Somebody on Reddit uh, did an AI. They did an AI image of him. It looks like they did a text-to-image thing where they put in Chinese guy money. Generally speaking, nope. Chinese people look Chinese. Uh, the 61-year-old executive conspired with others to participate in a sprawling transnational scheme to launder at least approximately $67 million of illegally obtained funds. Okay, so they were doing this uh, giant money laundering scam. And uh, one of the websites that I read about this story on, they interviewed a guy who used to write for the Epoch, Epoch, Epoch Times. And this is what he said. This is a really stupid scam. It leaves a mass, it leaves a massive paper trail. This scam is a little. <laughs> the people who did this scam. They make me sick. Okay, so the way that this scam worked is basically that they did, you know, just like criminal stuff. The one we know about is fraudulently obtained unemployment insurance benefits that had been loaded onto tens of tens of thousands of prepaid debit cards. All right, so they got a bunch of money on prepaid debit cards, which is like, you know, it's like anonymous, so a lot of scammers use them. And they got all this money from doing stuff like scamming the unemployment insurance uh, benefits. So then they took that and bought a bunch of cryptocurrency, then stole people's personal information to open accounts to put that money into, and then from those accounts they put it in their own accounts. So it looked like so it looked like donations. According to some uh, Securities and Exchange Commission official, these schemes inevitably attract federal attention. Anytime you're using a prepaid debit card with anonymizing techniques, you're going to raise anti-money laundering concerns. Oh God. Also, when the feds start investigating this, they ask them, like, why are you making so much more money all of a sudden? Hey, this looks suspicious. Also, why are you making so much more money? And these Epoch Times guys were just like, oh, people like us more now. They're donating more because they like our content. They just do kind of seem like idiots a little bit. And take a look at this. Okay. We have, in my opinion, some of the best puzzles in the entire country. Oh, man. Our team of puzzle masters creates two new pages of puzzles every single week. They make me sick. Sudoku's work. Oh, damn. Puzzles. God bless you. Well, there we go, guys. It's Monday. Oh, man. But we look at Monday. We look at it on the calendar. We say, dude, I'm burning you down. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye. I like to walk out of here and they're gonna take about a week off. Guys! You're not getting the whole show, okay? Please, for Christ's sake, become a member on Patreon, okay? For as little as two bones. When you join on Patreon for as little as two stupid little bones, you get the Tuesday, Thursday shows every week. The comments program where you can ask questions or tell stories or do whatever and it, it's a whole show. Behind the scenes crap. All for a two putrid little bones, that's it. Just click this link, here it is, right there, see it? Yep. Okay. Ah, I'm in here. And if you really want to support the wretched show, people call it because they're satanic, they're sick, you could become a producer for only 25 bones. These beautiful people here are, they, God. God. Without those producers, it's over, man. It's, it's done. Do you think we can do the show without the producers? Okay, because if you do think that, <laughs> you got another thing coming, my man. You got a totally different thing coming. Without the producers, it is it is as good as over. Hello? Is anyone listening to me? Please answer. I'll wait. Please answer.
our hearts and our toilets are forever endowed unto the producers from which all light comes. Praise God. Praise God. It really is amazing to have such beautiful producers. And if you want to do it, oh my God, I, you know, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> you know, I love the producers so much that I wrote a little song about them. Here we go. Hit it. We have the producers. We're going straight to hell. And then we'll go down to the lower level of hell where you can't get out. Not even for good, good behavior slash deeds. Go, go down there. Deeds. Ah, 